Today's lesson is 2.10, counting pennies and nickels. The objective is to provide practice finding the values of combinations of nickels and pennies. Our learning target today is I can identify pennies and nickels and count forward by fives and ones. We learned that counting money can kind of be like counting tally marks. A nickel represents five. Just like with tally marks, I would see it as a five group. A penny represents one, just like one tally slash. Knowing this can help me count nickels and pennies. When we're counting money, it doesn't matter what coin we start with, be it the penny or the nickel. Typically, though, it's easier to start with the coin that's the biggest amount. In this case, a nickel is worth more than a penny, so it'll be easier for us to count if we start with our nickels and end with our pennies. Because I know that a nickel is worth five, I'm able to count by fives. I would start counting like this. Five, 10, 15. Now, I know that pennies are only worth one. So I'm going to count on by ones. So 16, 17. I have 17 cents. Let's try to figure out how much money we have here. I'm going to look at each of my coins and try to figure out how much they're worth. Can you help? How much is a nickel worth? You're right. A nickel is worth five cents. How much is a penny worth? Correct, one cent. Let's try counting this together. So I have five, six, seven. I have seven cents. Let's do one more together. So again, first, I'm going to figure out what each of my coins is worth. How much is a nickel worth again? Correct, five. I see two groups of five. How much is a penny worth? You're right, one. I see four ones. Let's try counting this out loud. I'm going to start with my nickel. Five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 14 cents. Notice that when I got to my first penny, I stopped counting by fives because a penny is only worth one cents. So I counted on by ones once I got to my penny. Now you try. Can you figure out how much money we have? Try it on your whiteboard. Remember, figure out how many groups of five and how many ones you have. Pause video now. Great work. Let's check our answers. Do you have 19 cents written on your board? When I look at my nickels, I see three groups of five. And when I look at my pennies, I see four ones. Count with me to check. 
So I had 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 cents. Let's try another. How much money do I have now? Write the answer on your whiteboard. Pause video now. Great work. Let's check our answers. Do you have 20 cents written on your board? When I look at my nickels, I notice that I have four groups of five. Let's count by fives. So I have five, 10, 15, 20, 20 cents. Last one, try to figure out how much money I have. Write your answer on your whiteboard. Pause video now. Nice job. Let's check answers. Did you have 23 cents written down? When I look at my nickels, I noticed that I had four groups of five again. And I noticed that I had three ones. Let's count to make sure. Five, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. Today, when you go off to work in your math journal, you're going to be trying to figure out the total amount of change you have. Remember, when you're counting money, you're going to look and notice how many groups of five you have and how many ones. A reminder, in your math journal, nickels are going to be shown with an N inside a circle and pennies are going to be shown with a P inside a circle. Nickels are worth five cents, pennies are worth one. Good luck.